Dominion came into Scott Stadium looking for its second win against an Atlantic Coast Conference school in three weeks. Virginia had other ideas. First quarter, Paris Jones with a 15-yard run down to the Monarch 2. It set up a one-yard run for a 7-0 lead. Now up 10-0, Monarchs mounting a drive with 19 seconds left in the half. Hayden Wolf going 29 yards to Ali Jennings for a touchdown. That cut it to 10-7 by the break. Fourth quarter, the fireworks started. Old Dominion down 13-7, but would get their first lead of the game when Wolf, who passed for 235 yards, gets a second score of the game to Zach Kuntz. Monarchs up 14-3 with just over a minute left in the game. But hold on, the Hoos storm back. Brennan Armstrong, huge first down pass to Lavelle Davis for 30 yards down to the Monarch 33. Then with one second left, the senior, Brendan Farrell, coming on to close it out. His field goal from 26 yards as time expires. Monarchs lose a tough one, 16 to 14, over the Cavaliers. At the end of the day, we just left too, too much on the table as an offense, um, and we just didn't finish as a team. So this one hurts knowing that it was there for us. And, uh, couldn't get it done. The last drive just really hurt because our offense gave us a chance to win. And uh, for us not to get that stop and uh, bring it home, it kind of it really hurts. If the loss doesn't hurt. When you lose by, whether you lose by a last second field goal or you lose by three touchdowns, if the loss doesn't hurt, then you didn't invest in it. You didn't care about it. You gave up to work. To see them not bat an eye with a minute and one, with one timeout, go down and, and, uh, and find a way to, to win the game. So it tells you what's inside of them. As painful as the loss was, ODU now must concentrate on the start of their first ever Sunbelt Conference play. Next Saturday, they'll entertain Arkansas State at SB Ballard Stadium. Brian Smith, 13 Sports, Charlottesville.